Hey everybody and welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. My name is Amanda. If you're new to the channel, I would love to have you subscribe and join our Kingdom crew. Every Friday I send out a weekly motivational, encouraging video and I would love to add your name to that list. There is a link for that in the description box below. I call it my Kingdom Crew News where I just love to encourage and build other people up in their faith journey. So go ahead and sign up for that as well as check out the link to the playlist where I've created videos about God fighting your battles, and we are gonna to learn together how to give our battles to God because he will fight and he will win every time. So today I'm talking about the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy should be explained and we should understand it in its entirety because the book of Deuteronomy is full of scriptures, powerful scriptures where God has used time and time again to show us his faithfulness and to show us that he truly is right beside us fighting our battles for us. So let's jump into today's video. Go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a big like. It really shows YouTube that I'm doing something over here that other Christian women and men need to know about and I would truly appreciate that support. Okay. Have you ever felt like the low man on the totem pole? Have you ever felt too small for the job that you are just too insignificant? Maybe you feel like God doesn't even hear you when you pray. Maybe you feel all alone in the midst of your battle. When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, the Bible says, do not be afraid of them for the Lord, your God is with you who brought you up from the land of Egypt. So we're going to dive into some commentary and I'll link below where I found the commentary for this particular Bible study. The reason you're seeing cell phones on the screen is because I want to remind you that right at your fingertips 24 seven, most of us have something that we can reach and grab for, whether we're taking a break at work, we step into the bathroom to kind of regain our composure, whether we need to step out of maybe a patient room to gather ourselves and get some strength. Maybe we're in the heat of a battle and we don't know which scriptures to pray to God or where to turn. If you pull out your cell phone and you go to the internet, you can type in scriptures for letting God fight your battles. You can type in scriptures for strength and right at your fingertips, you will have an endless supply of Bible verses to pray, to think on, to dwell on, and to ask God for strength in. When you go out to battle against your enemies and you see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, Israel, a small nation surrounded by great empires was rarely in a strategically superior position. They too felt like the underdog. In battle, they usually saw horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, meaning more of them than there are of you, meaning you can be led to feel insignificant, that you don't matter, that you're not strong enough for the battle. But my friend, this video is to encourage you and to remind you that the book of Deuteronomy teaches us that God is with us. And it does not matter if there are 10,000 against you, God and you make an unstoppable pair. Do not be afraid of them despite the clear danger. God is teaching us and he's telling us through the book of Deuteronomy that even though it's a dangerous situation, even though the battle is raging, guys, he is in our corner. He has already fought and won the major war, the major war. So why not entrust him with those daily battles, if you will, those daily struggles? It says they also had a clear command from God not to fear to not fear. What does that mean? The Bible teaches us that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I find myself quoting that one back to him quite often whenever the fear starts to set in. But God has commanded us to not fear. You see, Israel was commanded to not fear what any logical military man would fear. That means logic doesn't apply when it comes to faith. You have to have fearless faith superior numbers, superior technology, and superior equipment. See, it appears as though the odds were stacked against them. It appears as though they were going to stumble and fall, that they were going to lose the battle. But they were taught not to fear, but to give the battle what seemed like it was already lost before it had ever begun to give that battle to God. 
Do you ever feel too tiny, too small, too weak? Do you ever feel like you're not going to make it on your own? Stand up and fight back knowing God is fighting for you. For the Lord your God is with you. Yet, Israel was given a reason to not fear. God did not deny that the enemies of Israel would usually have more horses, chariots, and people than Israel. But God asked them to recognize a greater fact that the Lord your God is with you. The book of Deuteronomy is a phenomenal reminder that God is with you. Whether it's a bill, whether it's a job that you need, whether it's a health condition that you're facing, whether it is a depression or an anxiety that you're dealing with, no matter what your battle is, I encourage you, I implore you to give it over to the Lord and allow him to fight it for you because he is waiting to take that heavy weight that was never designed for you to carry alone. He's waiting to take it from you if only you will entrust him to fight your battle for you. Deuteronomy 20 and 4 is a scripture that you can go to. Write it out. Put it in your prayer journal. I'm making an entire series on this channel that you can find posted on Friday mornings for prayer journals. All things prayer journals for beginners. I would love to have you check that out. And remember, as the commentary says, as Paul said it in Romans 8 and 31, if God is for us, who can be against us? And to you today, I ask you to comment below. Comment below Romans 8.31. You don't have to write out the whole scripture. Just type Romans 8.31. Let me know you've made it to the end of the video. Let me know you're enjoying the series. Let me know that you know that even though it's hard, even though reality says you've lost, even though you feel small, insignificant, and as though you're no one, even though you feel like your past mistakes have reminded you over and over time and time again that you are not good enough, that God does not love you, your sins are too great, you have wandered too far, you will never make it in a relationship with God, and at times you are tempted to believe that this God that you're trying to believe in is not even real. I remind you, we are called to have fearless faith. If God is for us, who can be against us? One person with God, only one person who has God by their side makes an unbeatable, unstoppable, relentless, undefeatable team. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I pray that you will join me in the Friday series, Prayer Journals for Beginners. And I pray that this video has blessed you, that it has kept you, has found you to be encouraged to know that God is fighting your battles for you. Get into the book of Deuteronomy. Get into the commentaries. Study it out to show yourself approved and so that God can reveal who he is to you and show you that he truly is fighting your battles for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Check the description box below. Sign up for the weekly Kingdom Crew news and stay kingdom-minded in everything you do. And I will see you in the next video.